Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of Ellen written by Kainy Wolf. We know about Kainy Wolf that he was a pleasure loving, wandering glee man and he was well educated and he was very very fluent in Latin and a vision of cross converted him into Christianity. He should have lived either in Northumbria or Mercia and once he is converted he became a man of church and started writing religious composition. and since he was educated in ecclesiastical and hagiographical literature and knew the dogma and doctrines of the catholic church his works were outstanding though earlier many works were uh, thought to be written by him now the scholars feel that four major works must have been written by him and only these four works can be contributed to kainy wolf and they are the fates of the apostles juliana ellen christ to or the ascension and all these poems are drawn upon latin sources such as homilies and hagiographics so now we will go to the uh, poem what it is saying uh, ellen actually it is known as saint helena finds a true cross and it is also translated from old english by lucius hudson halter and uh, it is also translated from a latin text uh, and it is the longest of kainewul's poem because it has 100 1321 lines up and this poem tells about the finding of the holy cross by saint helena the mother of the emperor constantine the poem is uh, based on the historical events that took place uh, and uh, actually this was at the time when the war started between the romans the huns and the frank and uh, this poem belongs to the chapter of uh, inventio inventio means it is a search of the sacrosax uh, relics of the saints uh, and the poem begins with the roman emperor constantine riding out to the battle uh, along against the huns and the hetgrods and uh, god uh, has created uh, constantine as a strong king though he was that that time not aware of christian god yet uh, Suddenly he sees a vision in the sky and he is told to show his enemies a symbol which is shown to him by the heaven and this symbol is a cross Constantine obeys and the enemies are easily defeated after returning he asks his assembly whether they know the meaning of the symbol that saved his people a wise man comes forward and tells him that the cross is the symbol of the lord of heaven that is jesus christ and then constantine is baptized and becomes a devout christian he reads the bible and learns how and where christ was killed he orders his mother helen to lead out an army to the land of the jews to find where the cross which bared christ was buried so helena takes an army to israel When she reaches Jerusalem she assembles the Jews and scorns them for having condemned Jesus to death. Among the crowd is Judas and he tells his fellow Jews that the queen has come in search for the cross on which Jesus was crucified. No one comes forward to tell her where exactly the crosses were buried. So Helen threatens them with death. Frightened they hand over Judas to her. In the beginning Judas refuses to help her so she locks him up in a dark prison for 7 days without food This makes Judas cry and on the 7th day he accepts to help her He leads the king a queen to the hill where Christ was crucified and Judas now having faith in Christianity converts himself to Christianity and delivers a passionate speech to God acknowledging Jesus as a savior On hearing his speech God shows him a smoke sign in the sky and Judas gets convinced that God has accepted him then he digs and finds three crosses now he does not know which is the real cross that had uh, held Jesus Christ so what uh, they do is they bring a corpse and they hold each cross over him and when they place the third cross on the corpse the corpse comes back to life seeing this satan gets angry because one soul of his is stolen from him but judas argues with satan with his new faith and by the time helen informs constantine about the cross 
Constantine tells her to build a church on the hillside where the cross was found and she does so and she prays the cross in a case of gold and places jewels on it and places this in the church and Judas also gets baptized and is appointed as the priest and is now named as Syracuse now helen goes in search for the nails that held christ upon the cross god helps her now in the form of fire and shows her where they are buried helen is filled with tears of joy a wise man advises her to use the nails in the bit of constantine's horse so that he would always be victorious in battle in the epilogue of the poem kynewulf tells that during the last judgment people will be divided into three groups two groups will undergo cleansing to reach salvation while the third will be damned to eternal hell and he finishes the poem the poem is beautifully written and anyone who reads it will understand the depth of its intensity if you have anything more to add on please do write it in the comment box like this video and share it with your friends and if you're not subscribe my channel please do subscribe and also when you're subscribing press the bell button so that you will get notification whenever i post a new video thank you